Good morning, everyone. It is rainy here in Harbor Island today. We're gonna go pick up Frank, Helen, Jeff on Star Island. You can see lots of rain around. Some really heavy stuff came through earlier. It's about nine o'clock, so we're getting a Hollywood start, we say. Not too early, but we're supposed to meet a bait guy and get some bait in the next hour, some live pilchers. Have that ready, and uh, hopefully we're gonna go try to catch yellowfin tuna today, maybe some deep drop fish, and really see what the weather does, because it is pretty stormy out there, but. It is what it is. That's one thing with fishing and traveling. You can't control the weather, so we'll take what they give us. I'm gonna go run and get them on the old Sea Dog. So it's 1.34. We get down here at 9 a.m. trying to leave. We're in island time though. And this is uh, what we do in the Bahamas here. So the guy said he had trouble catching bait, but he got a little bit now, some small stuff. We had an adventure earlier. Old Sea Dog was a little on gas, but we made it back. And uh, we're going fishing. We got a lot of wind coming. We'll see what happens. Eddie just gave us a few ballyhoos over there. And uh, it's time to go fish and see if we catch something because tomorrow looks really stormy. So we gotta at least go have some fun while we're here. Good luck, boys. Thank you. Good, good meeting you. Yeah, All right, here we go. Ready? Helen. These are the bait guys. They got bait. We're getting a late start, but here we go. What are your guys' names? You're Trey? I'm Trey. What are you? Trey Lynn. Trey Lynn? Yes, sir. Good to meet you. We got Trey and Trey Lynn. Dude. We're getting the charge. They're not big, but Sandy Keys. All right, so we're getting these pilchers set up here. There's tuna birds working. You can see them flying around. And it's getting windy. I mean, there's a good swell out here now. It's four to six footers. You can see some white caps there. You can see the birds working up there too. And we're hoping to catch yellowfin tuna. Even a blackfin tuna would be good though. And there's some more wind coming tomorrow. So 25 to 30 knots. So we definitely ain't fishing then. And we'll see what happens today though. We're gonna get big fish. Big fish? The mark's a big mark there. I don't know if it's a shark or what it is, but something big down there. There you go. We are, we are, suckers. There you go. Anybody want it? There you get them. All right, we could have our sushi on here. Found a crotch protector. It's still there. <laughs> now you ain't getting it. Crank them on in here. I think it's a little black. So we got the kite up on this side. Those guys are drifting on that side. Oh yeah, good over on there. Let me know if you want the cushion. No way. No way. No. He says he ain't taking it. Franker though, we got this for you if you need it. Oh, the pink That's man's gonna need it, dog. Oh, they're boiling right there. Could be our uh, sushi appetizer, though. As long as Jeff doesn't kibosh it. The girls. Oh, yeah, showing a little size now. Getting a little bit bigger. The girls need dinner. Not sure if he's a swinger or a gaffer, but we're going to be ready for both. Let's skip Jack a roof. There you go. Hell, I'm up here to the side of the camera. Oh, that cork ready to skip. Say it one more time. Just find a cork to the tip. You want the skipjack for bait? We could. There we go, guys. Skipjack tuna. We didn't get skunked. We'll take it. Oh, we got a bleeder. We have got a bleeder. Get him down. All right, so we missed one or two more bites. We're still trying. We're marking a lot of fish here. You can see the fish on the sonar come up from 100 down to 200. We really just want a nice tuna for dinner. It's getting windier, but here we are. We're out here breaking the boat in. I'm uh, using the technique that your dad taught me. 
Lift it gently like a sack of di oh. diamonds is on that. Oh, no. no. Yeah, he pops off. Oh. Rail riding. Yeah, Yeah, dog. Yeah, dog. another skipjack. Franker's hooked up back over here. Come on, you little yellow fin. Please be a little YT, YT. Oh, Franker. Man, I'm not putting that much heat on him. Oh, not I'm a big bad. one right there, Trent. Not bad. a big bait. Not a big, big boat. Franker, follow your fish around. All right. All right. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to come this way. I got the cow. Oh, yeah, nice here, fish. Nice here, fish. Here. Nice cow. All right, so Mahi's found us. No tuners, but we got Mahi's here. Came up eating that pilger we're chumming with. Hope we get a gaff shot. Here we go. What you got on Jeff? Nice little cow. Jeff got the oh, cowgirl on. Stroking it off the front of the off 42. The boat. Lose him. I had a shot at him. Oof, hard to reach him. Great with the elbow. He's tired now. He's tired now. There's nothing left in him. T, what do you say, bro? That's how we do it, baby. Down deep? Yep. We switch gap, folks. Go from a two inch to a three inch. A little bigger gap here. It's because we whiffed. So we whiffed the first one. Frank was in my way. <laughs> camera to the elbow to the camera. Yep. I whiffed him. I'll take credit for whiffing him. Come on, one more loop here. Nice fish. Oh, oh. We got him that got time, him sir! Like yeah. 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 Nice ball here! Oh, my. oh he's angry! Yeah. Oh, he's angry, folks! We have a stay there! Alright, nice ball here, you guys! In the Bahamas, breaking in the new 42 Freeman. Check those colors out. Wow. Absolutely gorgeous. Jeff's still tight. I tickled him the first time, scratched his back, gripped his fin, went to a little bigger hook, a three-inch gaff hook, and worked much better. So that's why you gotta have different size gaff hooks. Franker's bleeding again. Let's see what happened. Oh, look at that one. Now, if you, if you notice, if you ain't bleeding, you ain't fishing. It always stays true. Here we go. A little bit of excitement. Got some skipjacks. No tunas today, but a uh, pack of my here. Got two of them. Got a third one on that. Hopefully, we get them. Oh, man, that bull. He, ate, he was mad. He was like, wow. I did the same thing. Gaff eight foot long, we need eight foot two. Alright, somebody grab that gap there. Nice 
Nice boy, right. nice cow girl. Nice cow there, you guys. Right. Jeff, what are we getting? Got to get the old first aid kit. Compliments to Helen and Frank. <laughs> Putting this thing so, to use, we're burning pretty much, it up. Pretty much every day we've been using this thing. Oh, we have another bleeder there. There you go. This is, this is number two today. Every day, huh? Yep. If you ain't bleeding, you ain't fishing, baby. Oh yeah, hit it with that. Jeff, you could be like a doctor. So pretty much, if you ever go on a boat and do a trip, make sure you got a first aid kit. And Helen and Frank, they knew we needed one this trip, so they brought it. Was uh, the tuna's about Ludus, but nice pack of dolphin there. Just made the day there for sure. Yeah boy. Yeah boy. Yeah boy. Yeah boy. We might be eating mahi on the island. Who knows? It's gonna be a rough ride back. Here's Paul. About 20 knots now. It's gonna get real windy tomorrow. Maybe we'll go see the pigs or something. But we got mahi. We're gonna eat them up. Sunscreen's falling down like crazy. Here we go. There ain't no ride like a Freeman. Right, Jeff? Absolutely nothing like it. Without a shot of a doubt. 37 was great. 42 is better. Mark, mark it down. Great afternoon. All right, Jeff still got his <laughs> finger bandage up from yesterday. <laughs> Franker's got his battle wound right there. Oh yeah, look at that. Sun's going down. Oh yeah. Sun's going down here, Harbor Island. Time to wrap it on up and we're gonna cut those fish tomorrow. We got lasagna coming out with the girls, so make sure they're nice and cold. Look cold to me. And uh, we'll see you guys back at the filet table tomorrow morning. What's the next morning? You get Bahamian start, you get island time starts over here, so we're starting late. We're gonna go try to see the pigs today, but we gotta cut up these mahi from yesterday. And I think Jocelyn, she's behind the camera now, she's gonna cook them for, for us on the island later on Star Island, so I'm excited. You gotta have fresh fish right here in the Bahamas. Just getting some salt water to rinse everything with because it's better than fresh water. So, a couple bucks of this and that'll help do the job. Ugh. I need longer arms or higher tide. We're just gonna get the table a little wet and start. There we go. Now, Usually we leave the biggest fish to the end. That way if people walk by, you know, we can like, oh, look what we caught, you know, boost our ego. But we're gonna do the biggest fish first because that's what we want to clean. Nice bull, at least 25 pounds, maybe 27. Really fat though, there's something in his stomach. I want to see what he was eating. You can tell it's a bull, that's the male. It's got the big square head right there. The female's head is a lot more rounded, so. This is the one we want right here. But we're gonna start way up here, get that head meat. Nice sharp knife, all the way down here. And I am curious to see what he was eating. We're gonna find out in about two minutes. Some fish, this fish is like stocky, you know, he's not super long, but he's really wide and healthy. Just, just like people, you know, some fish have certain builds and this is a good quality fish, a nice healthy one for sure. But all the way down his back, working away, trying to get towards his spine. And I can feel it hitting his spine now. Now we just gotta go over the spine. Go over top of it. Gonna cut that off there. Just piece by piece now.
let's see what he was eating in here, you guys. This is what we've been waiting on. We could tell there was something big in it. Here we go. This is it. Look at that. Holy smokes. You know what it is, Jocelyn? A mahi. He ate a mahi. So these fish are cannibals. They eat each other. They don't always care about their young and the next generation, their offspring. I mean, that is a mahi that this fish ate. So there you have it. They, they do eat each other. And it does stink. But not only did he eat one, it actually appears that he ate two. He ate two of them. So this bull was out there gorging, eating his own babies and eating them like that. And I bet this is another one that he already digested. So probably like three of them. And that stuff stinks right there. So let's get rid of that. All right, next step is get rid of that rib cage. That's bones in there. We don't want to eat the bones. We're going to flip this thing around. Start on the back and just work our way up and skin it. That's where this knife is perfect because it's flexible and it's longer. It goes through like the whole fillet like that. So we're gonna get rid of this skin. This fillet is pretty big, so we're gonna cut it like that. We're gonna knock the bloodline out, flip it like this. And I'm cutting with an angle towards the center of it because we don't want to eat that dark piece. Now that's all nice and clean. Let's flip this thing upside down. Nice sharp knife. I Left a tad of skin on there, but it's up now. Knock this off there. Knock this off there. There you go. So, we have got fresh mahi mahi in the Bahamas. We're gonna go back to Star Island and cook this tonight. Jocelyn says we're gonna grill it. She's gonna make another debut on the channel. Well, not a debut, she's been on it before. Then you guys can see what she's up to and uh, what she's capable of doing. So we'll see you guys back at Star Island later tonight. Hey Sadie, you want to cook? So we're in the kitchen here at Jeff's place. We're on Star Island. Jocelyn's going to help us cook here. We got fresh mahi. How are we cooking it? We are just going to, we have a Traeger on the beach actually. So we are going to put some olive oil on this and we have some Traeger seasonings here. We're going to mix fin and feather rub and big, big game rub. Put it on this fish, cook it on the beach. I don't think it gets any better than that. This mahi was caught yesterday. It's gonna be super fresh and delicious. And the view is gonna be even better. So, can't beat it. This is just a basic, simple recipe, but the view is, you know, what's killer here. You can see out there, you got the palm trees, got a little bit of beach, got the water. And make sure to check out Jocelyn's channel, you guys. That's her name, Jocelyn Marzella. She just started YouTubing, so. Go give her a sub. All right, so we put the olive oil on. We're just gonna, whoop. <laughs> We're just gonna shake this on. All right, we're just gonna flip it over now, season the other side. It's gonna be seasoned up on Star Island. Is it all gonna fit on here? No, <laughs> Nick. <laughs> I'll do two batches. So they're up at the main structure up there. Little bar area hanging out. They got some conch salad they're eating. Alright, we're gonna let this batch cook. We'll check back on it in a few minutes. I think this is the prettiest place that I have ever cooked, for sure. Alright, we're gonna flip the fish. Ooh, look how that looks. The mini Traeger is cooking. We got Ma here. That was that nice big bowl. It's right there with those guys coming along. We have rice and veggies cooking and we're gonna do some garlic bread. We're actually cooking it all on another grill. Helen was there holding Claire. A pair of bonefish swim in. There was a half a shrimp tail, a half a shrimp with about 50 red ants on it. <laughs> Sarah throws in the water, hooks it on the hook, throws out there, bonefish piles on it, zips around the great fighters on Star Island right up the beach. Now it's time for dinner. I mean, check this feast out. Jocelyn cooked it up. What we got? We got a pile full of mahi right there. We got vegetables. We got rice and we got some bread. All See? cooked on the grill. 
All grilled? All grilled. Yeah. Here you go, girl. Taste tester. How is it? Medium to low time. She went chocolate. I think so. Looks nice too. I thought she said chocolate. Is it good? What's it taste like? It tastes like chocolate. It does taste like chocolate. All right, so we're with our family and friends now. It's dinner time. Sadie approves it. Hey. Jeff, you ready for dinner? I'm looking up. I'm ready for some food. Dude, yeah. guess yeah. what Sarah yeah. just caught? I caught a bonefish on Star Eye. Helen, on a more serious note, how's the, how's the dinner? It is delicious. Did you try the fish or not yet? Yes, I've had it. It's all of it's awesome. It's awesome. Good. Cheers. All righty. We're going to get everyone else's opinion, too, here. We need Frank the Tank's opinion. Um, I'm waiting, dude. Yeah, I'm ready. I got my fork, dude. Um, they don't, ah! I don't think we have any gator in right here. Mm. That's large. Mm. If you're that thirsty, I'll drink water. <laughs> Jonathan, <laughs> you're the chef. Tell us what you think. I can't cut it. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. We're going to find out. Super good. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Delicious. On the grill? Mm-hmm. Jeff, you ready to get down to some of this mahi action? Oh, my God. Yes. After we get away from the flies, good grief. Who invited the flies to this party? The flies are out tonight, and I think we burned up our little fly candles. Where are they? Did you try the fish, Sadie? Sarah? Yeah. Is it good? Yeah. Drink that. Did we give Claire a bite of fish yet? I think so. She ate it. It's gone. She did. Yeah, really let's give her one little one. I can see him. The one was empty over there. I'll look. Let's see if Claire wants a bite. Here you go, Claire. Got this? Sunsets at 7.45. There you go, Claire. Good job, baby. Yay! No, we all know Sadie loves fish. Claire's starting to like it too. She's like eight and a half months old. Going on nine months here soon. You're on Star Island hanging out. What do you think? Man, the island's amazing. Look, it's Bahamas, right? So we had a gas grill. Heated up water on the gas grill, boiled the rice in there on the gas grill, made the vegetables on the gas grill, had the Traeger kicking for the fish down on the beach, finishing up the fish. Miss Helen looks out and goes, Sarah, there's two bonefish right there. Eight inches of water coming right up the beach. Boop, catches the bonefish. Now we're eating mahi we caught yesterday. It doesn't get better than this, man. It doesn't. These are what dreams are made of, brother. Thanks for feeding me. Oh you want a side of flies with that? Boy. We need to know what you think about that fish. I caught that fish was from yesterday afternoon. Old Trey man caught him. It's good. Very distinct flavor on the Traeger. Oh, you found them. I'm taking the food. There you go. We got the little fly be gone. Fly be gone. Fly be gone. They're leaving. They're leaving. They're leaving. Do you like the fish? Yeah, I'm shooting the flies away. Shoo the flies away. Shoo. Shoo fly. We're going to get the music going here in a second, so just want to get a bite of this on camera for y'all. Easy to tell Mahi apart when you cook it, just by the texture of the meat and whatnot. You know, if you've done it before, so. Very good. Nice and juicy. Not dried out at all. You can see it flaking apart there. And that's as fresh as it gets too. We caught that yesterday. That's what we got for you tonight, so. Hope y'all enjoyed that video. Hit that like button, make sure to subscribe. Check out Jocelyn's channel. You know, she's just starting. And uh, you guys want any merch, stansfishing.com. Go to the website, plenty of merch on there. And the adventure continues, so we'll see you guys next time. Hey, Sadie. Say bye. 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 I the other the white button. Got a little snapper. Oh, we got him that time, sir. Bahamas breaking in the new 42 Freeman. Check those colors out. Wow. Absolutely gorgeous.